Everyone knows Swiss watches are the best. Oh, well, I prefer Japanese watches. Well, you can't ignore German watches. And Chinese watches are getting better. Well, how about something American? From the boardroom to the moon, these watches have pretty much been everywhere. So how do I feel about Bulova watches? It's 3.24 p.m. Let's get down to business. What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. I'm currently wearing my Rolex Date 1500, but if you couldn't tell from the intro there, we are obviously talking about Bulova watches today. Now, Bulova is a very, very interesting company. Uh, originally founded in New York back in 1875, and then later, much later, uh, they were purchased by Citizen in 2007. And like Hamilton, you can actually find a lot of cool vintage American-made Bulova for not a lot of money. Uh, they honestly don't hold much value, but if you want something, some really cool old school Americana, just really nice pieces of orological history, then I say go ahead and pick up one of those really cool vintage Bulovas. Now pretty much once a day, one is will write to me asking me if I like Bulova watches. And guys, I've already done a video about the Bulova Lunar Pilot, a watch that I really think is super, super cool. And if you haven't seen that video, pause this video, click the link in my description to watch that video and then come back here because we're kind of going to talk about that Lunar Pilot a little bit today. Now to quickly summarize that video, the Lunar Pilot's watch is well made. It looks cool. It has a ridiculously cool story behind it and you can get them for a very, very reasonable price. Uh, so seriously, if you haven't seen that video, click the link in my description to watch it if you want to learn a little bit more about that really cool Bulova Lunar Pilot's watch. Now, not all is well with Bulova. In my opinion, they're currently suffering from the whole bigger is better syndrome as many companies do. For instance, when the Bulova Curve came out, I was actually really interested in it. I thought it looked really cool, but then I found out it was 44 millimeters. Okay, I'm a big dude. I can wear a 44 millimeter watch, no problem, but I think it's kind of silly to make your watches average 44 millimeters when kind of the average dude wouldn't want to wear a watch that big. But I mean, look at it. It's futuristic, it's sleek, sporty in a way. I think it's a really cool looking watch. Just make it a tad bit smaller, 40 millimeters, 41. And then their Precisionist line, okay? I actually had a Precisionist in the past. It was a gift. Come on, 46.5 millimeter case diameter with almost an 18 millimeter thickness. It's just too big and chunky, dude. There's some cool technology in it. Has a three prong quartz, very, very accurate. I'll give them that. And it felt well made, but it's just too big. All right, so to kind of give you guys cliff notes on this watch rant, how do I feel about Bulova watches? Well, I think the things they make are well made, but as far as their current pieces go, uh, there's nothing that really interests me outside of that Bulova Lunar Pilot. But I will keep my eyes peeled and my fingers crossed because I think Bulova made some really, really cool watches in the past, like their vintage chronographs, just very cool watches. And they're still making that very cool Bulova Lunar Pilot's watch. So there is hope and I'm not gonna write them off just yet. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed this quick little T3 watch rant on a Wednesday. Now guys, I want you to leave me a comment letting me know what's your favorite current Bulova that isn't the Lunar Pilot? Cause I know everybody loves the Lunar Pilot's watch, but I've kind of looked through their different collections. I haven't really seen anything of interest to me, but who knows, maybe I overlooked something and I'm sure a lot of you guys know more than me about what they're currently offering. So. Teach me something. What's your favorite current Bulova that isn't the Lunar Pilot's watch? Leave me a comment below, let me know. And guys, I wanna thank you because we are almost, almost at 20,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. Seriously guys, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And if this is your first time joining us here at the Time Teller channel, I wanna say thank you and welcome. And I wanna urge you to consider clicking that subscribe button because it takes one second and it helps me out a ton. And while you're at it, you can click that little bell icon so you do not miss an episode of the Time Teller. There's just so much more awesome content on the way. And you don't wanna miss it. I'm telling you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with other watch enthusiasts, other people that you think would enjoy this. I'm Jory Goodman, the Time Teller. And always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it.